Alrighty, uh, so guys, welcome to the my first um, Marvel Legendary uh, playthrough. Um, first and foremost, this is not a how-to on play the game. If you do not know how to play the game, but you are interested, there are plenty of resources on YouTube. There are plenty of resources on uh, Board Game Geek. Um, there are plenty of resources out there to learn how to play the game if you're interested. Uh, secondly, I'm going to try to do this. Um, if not once a week, twice, once every two weeks kind of deal, um, I won't flood it, you know, flood the channel with these, but I've been something that I want to do for a long time. It's a game I really, really enjoy, and it gets more and more challenging, more fun, the more expansions I get. So I currently have five expansions right now, including, and then also the base game, so six things of cards total. Um, I will put in the description the, uh, setup, so with the scheme, the mastermind, the heroes I'm using, as well as, uh, the expansions I have so that if you want to use do the exact same setup and see if you can get more victory points than me or beat it or anything like that um, You how you'll be able to do that uh, So first off we're gonna go we're gonna use uh, Magneto. He's not too difficult of a mastermind. He's only eight fight um, and then if you Mass strike happens you have to reveal a X-Men hero or you discard down to four um, Which all the ones I'm using are X-Men so it's not gonna be that difficult but the scheme is Nuclear Armageddon. So for every uh, scheme twist, you destroy a uh, city space, and when the city is destroyed, you, the evil wins. So we're going to avoid that if we can. The heroes I'm using are Legion, Time Traveling, Jean Grey, and Phoenix. Alright, so let's get this thing started. Alright, oh, I'm using Doom Bots and Dark Descendants as the, uh, as the thing. And I'm also using the, doing the Advanced Solo rules so for each scheme twist that comes out i have to play um i have to not ko but put one of these cards in the bottom of my deck and for each master strike i play the next card of the one deck all right let's see what we got going on three by three attack all right um i think i'm gonna go with this phoenix so life and death incarnate you get three by um but you have to ko her and then you can ko a card from your discard pile I don't know if that is focused. I think I'll go right there. It's not focused, I apologize. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and take him out. Who the top two cards your deck? KO one, the other one back. I'm gonna KO that one. Alright, so I'm gonna draw my new hand because I don't have six cards anymore. Um, any kind of special rules I will explain as they go in every episode, even if I talked about it a bunch, so like if I use a card with piercing energy in this game, I'll use a card and then another one piercing energy in another game, I'll talk about it. So you don't have to watch these all together, you can watch them in front of each other, so know what's going on. Alright, the Tau. Fight KO one of your heroes, escape, and that's why dominates the top part of the villain deck. Let's not hope that happens. So there is the uh, lady I gotta fight before she gets out. Okay, 6 by. Get these two Jean Greys and get four attack, or get this one and get. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with this and this one. All right, Legion has split cards, um, so split cards you choose which side you want to use, and then you use it for that turn. But it counts for both when it comes to revealing or um, X Gene or anything like that. If it, it it counts for both when it's not being played. All right, let's see. Havoc, brainwash Havoc. So I fight, if I defeat him, I gain him as a hero. All right, I've got three fight, but I really can't do anything with that. But I have five by. Um, I'm gonna KO this card. Let's see. Do I want? All right, I'm gonna go with this. Um, double card of legions so the left i just dropped it sorry <laughs> the left hand side will give me uh two cards the right hand side gets plus one fight for each other class of hero in my discard pile so i'm gonna use my five for that this gets ko'd and i also can ko another card from my hand or discard pile so i'm gonna get rid of one of our shield agents here i'll oh, replace that there all right so I'm going to try to get this Jean Grey here. We've got Phoenix and Jean Grey's rare cards out. 
want to wait on this uh, obliterating fire phoenix, the one with piercing light or piercing energy, because um, I really can't do a whole lot with it until I want to use it on a mastermind until I get the valuable resource because she gets KO'd. Alright, we got a scheme twist. So destroy the city space close to the mastermind. If there's villains there, they escape. Put the curse there. So this is destroyed. It's no longer in use. We're gonna move this to the bottom of the deck. Alright, um, I have no cards in my discard pile, so I'm gonna use channeling time, the yellow side of um, Legion and draw two. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six by and two fight. Six by, damn. Uh, let's see. Huh. I'm gonna get this guy for two, and I'll get I'll get her for four. So she got soaring flight, so it means you get to set her aside um, when you recruit her, and uh, you add her as your uh, to your hand as an extra card. That's what I want right there. It's just Legion. One, two, three, four, five. Shuffle again. Alright, got a six card here. And I get her my seventh. Let's go ahead and flip the deck. Okay, Master Strike. Each player reveals an X-Men hero, and I have an X-Men hero, so I do not have to discard down to four. Flip the next card over. Random ambush randoms the top card of the hero uh, dominates random dominates the top card of the hero deck. Each player reveals a hand and chooses a hero. Uh chooses one of the okay, so he, random dominates the top card of the uh, hero deck. And then each player reveals their hand and chooses one of their heroes with the same cost. Random dominates their those heroes. So she's got three costs, and this is my only one with three costs. So dominate means that he takes over, he takes and he dominates them, he gets plus one for each card dominated, and then when you defeat him, you can recruit one of those dominated heroes, but then the rest of them have to go, not recruit, you just gain it as a hero, but then the other ones go into the KO pile. So he has six now, um, that kind of sucks, because I don't have fight really for this, I don't fight or uh, buy for this. Um, I was saving this. But I feel like I need to do something about these villains. And I can't really fight anything or buy anything. Alright, I'm going to play her. So I get four piercing energy. Piercing energy lets me fight a villain uh, based on the um, victory points on that villain. So I get four and random has three. So I'm going to fight random. I'm going to rec or gain this hero back, and I'm going to KO the other one. So at the end of my turn, I really can't. I mean, I'm kind of hoping to use it on the mastermind because he's only five, but we'll see. Scheme twist destroys that city space, and we're going to have to put one of these underneath. So this is the problem. But now these are destroyed. She'll escape next uh, next couple times. So I got to start dealing with these. Um. Let's see. All right, I'm gonna play Ben Steele. So it's, he's got uh, the green side of uh, Legion. He's got Berserk. So Berserk is you discard the top card of your deck. If it has fight icon, you get plus that much fight. Um, so it doesn't have a fight icon, so he's just one, um, two, three. I'm going to play the uh, draw two side of channel time. So I'm going to draw two. So one. I thought that maybe if I got some uh, more colored heroes in there, I could get a little bit more fight. So now I'm going to rely on drawing a couple cards and some fight. Because I need to get rid of this, this lady right here. So I drew my two, and I didn't get any. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. But I could have played this and gotten it, so I guess I could have bought that. So I bought that for three. Guess I can't really do anything. I kind of screwed myself up there. That's okay. Alrighty. 
Master Strike, reveal an X-Men hero. I have an X-Men hero, so I'm okay. Play the next card. It's Trap. Recruit the left and right most heroes. Um, each of the, okay, and if I can't complete the trap by the end of the turn, each of those heroes you didn't recruit enters the city as a villain with uh, cost or with fight equal to the cost when you defeat when you gain it. Okay, that's gonna suck. So that's sitting there. It hasn't come to the city, but that's the trap. Um, and I really can't do anything about it. But I got two, three, four, five fight and two buy. I can defeat her, so that way I'll KO, um, I'll actually KO one of these. And I can't do anything about the trap. So you left and most, right most come in. Left and right most heroes come in as this is out of the game. I guess I'll just put in the KO pile. So, seven fight, five fight, and then I have the Havoc for six fight. Okay. I gotta get something going, man. This is rough. One, two, three, four, five, six. Master Strike. Let's see what I got. I got an X-Men Hero. I got a, well, I've been KOing all these cards. Okay. So he has escaped. Well, he has escape ability. Whenever Havoc, Havoc becomes a hero dominated by the Mastermind. So Magneto is now at nine. And I have to KO one of my um, heroes over here. So I'm going to KO... Oh, this is hard. I'm going to KO her. Okay, i got to do something about this situation. I can't. Uh, let's see. I'm just going to buy... No, 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 no. Yeah, I'm going to buy... No, I'm going to buy this. For four. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so escapes, ambush, flip over the top card. He gets it for four. I have a four cost card in my hand. Damn it, I do. That's why. Damn it, I needed that shit. And I have to KO one of these. I needed that card because I could have taken out the mastermind. Let's see, what's my deck? I don't know. This sucks, man. Let's see. Uh, one. Two, three. I'm gonna buy this Legion. Oh, I need this other one. Okay. I've got I'm gonna use the two fight here. So two, three, and then I'm gonna use the fight ability on this one. So it's you get plus one for each uh different class in your discard pile. So I have two classes. So I have two fight there, so one, two, three, four, five. Uh I'm gonna defeat this and get this and get a hero I can use. And I'm going to end my turn. The nice thing with the setup is I keep a small deck. I can kind of just use my card. Like this. But, I mean, come on, man. I could have hit the Mastermind off the last turn for free. Oh, well. All right, let's see what we got. Okay. Bystander, you can use that Bystander. All right, let's see what we got, what we got going on here. Uh, time traveler in gray. You may move a villain to an adjacent city space if another villain's already there. Swap them. I'm not going to worry about that. Um, rooftops or bridge. Uh, those are not relevant anymore. Her ability is not relevant anymore. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, I'm going to use the fight side of that. So um, nine, and then I'm going to use berserk. So um, it doesn't matter. So 10. I have 10 fight and one buy. 10 fight. Okay, I can go for the mastermind. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So I get this dominated hero and recruit an X Men hero for free. Oh, hell yeah. I'm gonna go with Dark Phoenix because that's the only, that's the right thing to do. I don't know if that was the right thing to do. <laughs> oh, damn it. All right. Okay, let's see what we got here. Um, four. Four, five. 
fight. Okay. I'm going to play this side of him. He gets four fight because I have um, one, two, three, four different colors in here. So four classes, not colors. So five, six fight, and three buy. Six fight. I'm going to take out him. I'm going to get her back. KO her, get that, get that. And I got three by. I'm gonna get this as well. Alright, let's see. Here's the thing about playing Phoenix. I'm gonna KO a bunch of shit. And she gets 13. I win. Evil wins. That is maybe the way the game ends. Who knows? Scheme twist. This gets destroyed. She escapes. The mastermind dominates the top card of the villain deck. And he dominates her. Now I have to remove one of these cards. I'm going to do this. Okay. Let's see what we got. Um, I'm going to use um, the left side of this. So, uh... Bend Light, which I get plus one, and then Light Show, but there's no Light Show cards, so just plus one. So one, uh, recruit, two, three, four, recruit. I want to recruit this Phoenix, so she's going to go here. She's got Sword and Flight. I'm going to use his, um, I mean, it doesn't really matter which side I use, but I'm going to use his fight with his fight. And kill him, top two cards, reveal the top two cards, KO one, put the other one back. I'm going to KO that. Put this one back. All right, it's time to make some moves here. Oh, I didn't actually, there we go. Okay. Ambush, each player reveals their hand and chooses one of their non-great heroes. Nemesis dominates uh, those heroes. You're gonna take this card, buddy. So this is what he dominated. All right, so here, let's do some fun stuff. I got two piercing light there. Four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10. Um, what would that be? I'm going to go ahead and draw two cards on this one. Ooh. Let's just see this. I'm going to do this first. So I have 10 piercing energy. Did I say light? I keep saying, I keep saying light. My bad. He's only 5, so I'm going to use one of them. Half of it on him. For each uh, X-Men hero, for each X-Men rescue a bystander, so I have one, two, three, four, I played. So, one, two, three, and four. These get rescued. This comes out as a villain. I'll, I'll show it in a second. I get rescued this. Um, so, the detective will ring out rescued. I inspect, investigate the villain deck for a one cost, a one victory point. Mastermind, or not Mastermind, sorry, Villain, and I get to uh, put it in my victory pile. Best game is the top two cards of the deck. Um, and then you can put it back in any order, so I get that Doombot. He wasn't fought, he was just put in my victory pile, so I don't think its effect goes off. This bystander was rescued. Whenever it's rescued, it becomes a villain, three, uh, three fight villain. So that's going there. I have five more. Um, piercing energy, or yeah, so I'm going to get this one. Choose one X-Men hero when you draw a new card um, at the end of your turn. Add that uh, card to your card of seven cards. Okay, add your hand to seven cards. Here's the thing. Um, does it count for cards I've played? or I'm going to count as cards I've played. So I'm going to go with uh, this Legion here. So... That, those are KO'd, which I'll KO'd at the end of the game. I guess they get played and they get KO'd. So they got, that's taken care of. Um, I played this Piercing Energy side. I played the Draw 2 card side of that. So actually, we're going to see if we can take him out. Got, I'm going to Berserk for 1. So he's now 4. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And I'm going to Berserk the rest of the cards off the top of my deck. So that means, again, you discard the top cards of your deck. They, uh, for each fight icon, you get plus that for that card. And hers KO those Berserk cards. So, 0, 1, 2, 0, 0. They're all KO'd. So she gets 2. So she's 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Got 13. Let's take out Magneto. 
and each player reveals a thing or gets one. Okay. Defeated the mastermind before the scheme unfolded. We did it. Dark Phoenix, our Phoenix came out and didn't turn to Dark Phoenix, and we didn't get, didn't lose. So let me see, let me tally up my victory points real quick, and uh, I'll be right back. All right, so victory pile. I end up with uh, 35, but I uh, two villains escaped. Two villains escaped. So that's minus uh, 2, so 33. And then for each of these, I got minus 3, so 30, 27, and 24. 24 victory points. Not bad. Um, that was kind of getting rough, but the piercing energy came in for clutch on that one turn. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Like I said, I'll put everything in the description. If this is something you want to try, so you can get more victory points than me. Um, and uh, I'll see you guys in another video. Thank you.